Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning with me, Bring It On. I found this lore stone on the way up to Waterhall Down. If I have to live for the rest of my life without him knowing, well then I'll deal with that. I think there's something to be said for it. I think it's noble. Yeah, I could tell someone, but that's just asking for praise. What makes it an act of kindness is that nobody knows, or at least that he doesn't know. I let him have the glory. No one has to know his arrow missed. <laughs> he saved the town. He's a hero. All right, let's go help our brother Egan with his... Is it Selkie Vale quest? If we're going to press on, then I'll ask you to stay close. I have no courage to speak of. Honest. Ask Father Dinwell. Well, then you're in the right place. Uh, what is this place? Local legend says that the great fey mage Armin the Clever retreated to these caverns to hide his treasures from mortal hands. Among them, the Selkie Vale. Bye there. All right. Alright, some finesse gloves that I don't care about. We must find the veil. <laughs> that little <laughs> sound my guy makes when he runs forward like that. A little goofy. Ooh, Traveler's Band. What do we have here? Health, lockpicking, and stealth. Well, I like the health. I don't care for the... Yeah, we can replace the Squire's Ring. It gives me more health anyway, but also gives me lockpicking and uh, stealth. Neither of which I'm going to use. Well, lockpicking, not stealth. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh. I forgot the game had traps. Alright, I can block it. It looks like I might be able to block it. Perfect. Yeah, I forgot the game had traps. That's a little, a little rough. And it hit hard, too. These guys. These guys are annoying. I remember there's one dungeon in particular I had a lot of trouble with. It had a bunch of those guys in it. Hey, chakrams! So I haven't showcased chakrams yet. So chakrams are pretty cool. They're a like a medium ranged weapon, I guess. Pretty flashy. Uh, what did I find here? Oh. I another one of Amon's keys. Oh, that's three out of five. Jeez Louise. Things eviscerated. There we go. Yeah, I hate those guys. Super annoying. They're also kind of terrifying. So you don't think, oh, sprites are these weird little carnivorous monsters, but they are. In this game, anyway. I don't think there's a quick save option. 
on controller. Don't know if there's even one on keyboard or not. Warrior's Chakrams, Sylvan Order. Can I equip that? I can. Only requires level 2. Painted resembles steel, decorated in the, in the Summer Fae manner. The eclectic style of this bow is its simple, deadly enchantments. Okay, we'll grab that. Oh! Oh, oh, I see it on the ground. Okay, cool, you can see the traps. That one still hurt me. Maybe I wasn't angled correctly for it. Oh, well, it's fine. Alright, the Selkie Veil. Uh, an enchanted creature of the Northern Isles was said to feed on mana reflected for mortals are Portal's attracted to the arcane veil. There we go, we've got it. Good to be outside again. I'm about to buy some more health potions. We're a little a little low. And later on you do have to pop a lot of health potions. At least I did. Arbos and Finna will be waiting. Come, their camp is not far. Uh, where are your friends? Finna and Arbos made their camp in the old Fey ruins north of the village, near my camp. Goodbye now. What? What is this? A little Egan has made a friend? Hm. I have a feeling this is going to be a problem. Especially since you're not a Fey. Brother Egan. A charming boy, but simple. My brother and I do prefer them witless and eager. He would have done so much more for us if not for you. Uh, Finna and Arbos. Before the war, we plundered Rothir from within. We were so successful that the Warsworn had bounties on our heads. Not much, but enough to be proud of. Sadly, all good things must come to an end. With the arrival of so many wartime outlaws, we were forced to relocate here. It was for the best, if you ask me. A uh, silky veil. Legend states that the wearer of the veil will be granted strange abilities, fey abilities. So you can imagine why my brother and I might be curious. Uh, you're not fey. Obviously. Anyone who has ever glimpsed a fey would know that. Unlike little Egan here, your head holds more than fantasies. The Feylands are such fertile ground for games. The inhabitants are so oafish, you can fill your pockets with hardly any effort. Are you going to give us what's rightfully ours, or do we need to start a new game? My brother and I are always ready to play. Well, what if I wish to keep it? Then you'll have to pay for it with your life. You see, we have much invested in this deception. Blood, gold, not to mention the hours wasted on Egan. We may be criminals, but we're an honourable pair. We worked hard for our prize, and now we mean to have it. Well, we'll see about- uh, the veil is cursed. Cursed, is it? Huh. It does look like you are well acquainted with misfortune. Keep the veil, then. There are other treasures to be had in the Feylands. Make certain our paths do not cross again, or my brother will add his mark to your scars. Farewell! I- I didn't know. How could I? Before I came to Gorehart, I'd never known anyone outside my immediate family. Everything was so new, so magical. You must think me a fool. And Father Dinwell, come, let's return to the mission. I must ask forgiveness of so many. Bye then. Right, well, that's done. We'll fast travel back to town.
deal with a couple of quests real fast. We have to talk to Father Dinwill, and we need to talk to Herc, who should be in the... Oh well. Alright, we'll go over here real fast. I think you can get some more gold out of these. Yep. You want to farm gold? There, That's how you do it. Hello. Yes. What do you need? Let's sell what we have. I'm never going to use a selkie bale anyway, so we'll just sell that. Might be worth buying some. Oops. Well, that's pretty good. That's a little steep. Um, it might be worth buying though. I mean, that's a lot of health this early on. No, I'm not going to do it. I'll grab a few of these because we're running a little low. Come see me again. Let's see about repairing our equipment over here. What? What do you need? Pair all a little pricey. I'll be here. But it's fine. All right. Go talk to Herc. He'll tell us what we need to do for the Fey. <laughs> well, let's go knock this out. Can't talk. Herc doesn't like loafers. But the loading takes a little long. Remember correctly, she should be upstairs, right? What is it? Yeah, because she's in the bed. You made it. Just in time, too. Give me the potion. It will help, but it's not enough. Someone must go to the Fey and explain what happened here. One small misunderstanding, and we'll no longer just be strangers to the Fey. We'll be enemies. I feel like we just missed a, uh... Some I feel like I missed a part of the quest. We didn't talk to him. Also, look at his face. It looks like he's melting. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, why is the girl important? She is a member of the House of Ballads, the legendary court of Fey heroes. They are warriors without equal, with centuries of glory to their names. If one of their own was killed by a mortal, the House of Ballads and its king would bring a fierce vengeance upon us. His face. Gorhart would be a ruin by day's end. Uh, what can we do? I'm not sure yet, but this is bad. She's Fey. Even worse, she's a knight in the House of Ballads. Fey don't kill their own, so it must have been someone in Gorhart. If the House of Ballads learns of this, the king will burn Gorhart to the ground. They see all mortals as invaders. We could go to the Warsworn and get an oath of protection, but that would require payment. We mustn't cover this up. But who do we tell? I'll go to the House of Ballads. You're turning out to be very helpful, my friend. You have my gratitude. I'll see to it that you're honored. Rumor says that the House of Ballads has its headquarters not far from here, in Glendara to the northeast. Try to gain entrance if you can. Uh, where is the House of Ballads? It's east of here, in the meadows of Yolvin. The Feylands are a wicked place, crawling with creatures so strange you'll assume you're dreaming. All right, House of Ballads. All I know is what I learned in my youth. The heroism of King Wenson and his court of enchantments. My grand spoke of them nightly as she sat by my bedside. For all I know, the House of Ballads is nothing more than myth. But I have a feeling that it exists somewhere out in the deep mists of the Feylands. Uh, Warsworn. Once they fought the beasts of chaos, marching to glory for many victories. 
Sadly, they fell, as all great men do. Now they're nothing more than hired blades. Anyone can earn their allegiance with a few pieces of gold. Farewell. It's funny that he knows that she's part of the House of Ballads, but he wasn't sure if the House of Ballads actually existed. So tired. It's a little odd. Alright, anyway, let's go talk to Father Dinwin. I think there's people to talk to in the monastery now as well. Uh, that should be unlocked to us. If I remember correctly. Need supplies. Try the corn shop. Let's get out of the forest. Must we return to the mission? I crave adventure, magic, power. Although all of those things are quite frightening. You're going home. <laughs> Perhaps it is for the best. This new world is far more dangerous than I expected, and I haven't eaten in days. Bye then. Can you get mad if I open this up? They yeah, don't seem to care. Great Mitharu, Egan has returned. Yes, as indeedy. You, you have done as I asked, and we here at St. Odwigs are forever grateful. Consider this meager reward a donation to your cause. It is just one, to be sure. Hey, I leveled up. And Squire's Daggers. My uh, brother Egan. It is only by the grace of Mitharu that Egan has been returned to us. Of course, you had a hand in that miracle as well. The authority works in many ways. Oh, did I sell? I think I did. Oh well. <sighs> Fine, I guess I'll do lockpicking. And... Actually, detect hidden probably would have been better. Oh well. Live and you learn, right? A harpoon might be okay to grab here. Uh, we'll hold off on that for now, I think. Max this out instead. Twenty-eight might. I unlocked new moves, right? I want detect hidden instead, because I can make do with lock picking, but detect hidden you have to. Yeah, I'm gonna do detect hidden. Oh, sage craft do. That's actually pretty good. Uh, if you want to do crafting. Alright, yeah, we'll do it this way. Now moves I should have Phantom Edge for oh, nope. where's it at? Guillotine block. The great sword, don't care about that. Wait, did I miss it? Oh, a spine bender. I thought I got. Yeah, whatever. We're fine. Alright, let's start exploring. Inside the monastery. On drink. Oh boy. On drink and excessive carousing. Part 6. The righteous Saint Hadwin spoke of wine as his little friend in the faith, for a conservative mustard the courage and settle the stomach. It balances the humors in the same fashion as Mithara's order equilibrates the disarray of this mortal life, strengthening the sick of body and calming the wounded of spirit. Yet many tragedies await the miserable wretches who expel temperance from conviv conviviality? Think excess in drinking to be the happiest life, for their life is nothing but disorientation, debauchery, nakedness, spewing, idleness, hexes, and more drink. You may see such sluggards, half-naked staggering, wearing horse bridles about their necks like the fineries of kings, vomiting on one another in the name of fellowship, and others flushed with the rose of their drunkenness, filthy faces like the pale, bulbous countenance of fish, 
livid and still seeking another flagon of ale to last them till the sunrise. This is kind of hard to read. It is well, dear... It is well, dear brothers, to make our acquaintance with this portrait of man at his most disabled, as to place ourselves at the greatest possible distance from it, and to frame ourselves as the beacon toward which these lots must stagger. Pythara has blessed us with one word to counter all such disability. Water. Water is the natural necessary beverage, and the gift of the authority. Therefore, water is the proper drink of society, and of sobriety. As with all blessings in keeping with the authority's order, drink should be partaken of with the utmost temperance and moderation. To maintain one's health, one's good standing, and most importantly, one's faith. I therefore advise those who have undertaken an ascetic life and are fond of water, the sweet juice of temperance, to turn their backs on consumption for the sake of intoxication, shunning the allure of the bottle, and instead quenching their thirst with the divine drink of wisdom. It is proper, therefore, that young men avoid the flickering tongue of the chaos drink, for it is not right to pour into the flaming cauldron of humanity the fieriest of all liquids, wine adding, as it were, fire to fire. The crackling blaze will ignite the youthful impulses of man's worst desires. But where the lust of the flesh and the hot touch of fornication? But where lust for vicious violence and animalistic predation? But where the roll of the dice and the forked tongue of the hex's dealer? For it is from the goblet that fiery habits are kindled, and young men inflamed from within become prone to the indulgence of vicious pros propensities. Alright, I'm probably not going to read other books like that going forward. It's a lot to read. Yeah, I'm not going to read about Mitharu. Yeah, I think the lore books I'll avoid. We'll just learn the lore through exposition and playing the game. I can break that down at least if I can't sell it. Did I miss a chest out here? Hey, repair kit. Actually, I can't do anything with that, can I? Is that good for the gold in these? Ah, oh, yeah, the morning prayer. Blessed be Mitharu, the great order of the world, for in his presence we are forever the light of peace. Oh, sorry, we are forever. Light of peace guide us. Warm us in the gentle cradle of your great embrace. <clears throat> Keep us from your thoughts of despair and burden. You who are so mighty in your sovereign house, bless us with your interminable love. Grant us strength and courage in your most holy name to bear the hardships of the world. You who guard us with mighty arm, hear our prayers. We are your servants, mighty Lord, who praise none other but your name. We are your loyal flock who follow your guiding hand to sanctuary. Through your grace we are enlightened, so we may better do your will. You alone rose to greet us, and free us from the darkness of our ways. As the morning sun sheds its bounty upon the land, so too, Lord, you illuminate our way. Blessed be Matharu, the great order of the world, for in his presence we are forever. Okay. Quite a mouthful for a prayer. I just want loot. Alright, three books of Mitharu in here, so if you're looking for lore and you're playing the game, come here. I hate getting caught up trying to read all the like the lore books and stuff. There's just so much. It'd take up a lot of time reading all of them. We'll learn most of what we need just by playing the game. So Reliquary in the chapel. Quests for days. Let's go up top first. Or I guess down below. I 
Let's see, I think we need to steal this book later. St. Hadwin? How long is it? Oh, not that long. Alright, so the teachings of St. Hadwin. I live simple and without ambition, for in this there is order and clarity. Make practice of that which orders the mind. Sweep if sweeping brings you peace. Perform alchemy if in it you find Mitharu. Keep every your toenails trim and your beard of a moderate length. I pray on my beads every day, counting out the orders in the symmetries of Mitharu. When I die, enter my remains within the earth, but do not bury my beads. All my prayer is gone into them. They are heavy with it. I wish them given to another, but when he dies, let, it, let him pass them on as well. Oh, I think this is for a quest, if I'm not mistaken. This brittle yellowing document describes the characteristics sought after for ordination into the Order of Mitharu. We'll take that, because I think that's a quest item. If I'm not mistaken. This can't be happening. Yeah, we'll do this later. It's more crafting. I'll talk to, talk to Brother Delph. Oh, I... Didn't see you come in. I was reading this letter, and is there anything I... Can I... I never thought it would happen. They're coming. Even with everything else going on in this village, the Red Legion is coming for me. Uh, Brother Delph. I'll admit it. My past is a tapestry of drunkenness and loose morals, women and wine. I'm not proud of it, but I couldn't have gotten where I am without making mistakes. Uh, Gorhart Village. The people here are kind, yet suspicious. They believe the mission harbors secrets, and they're right. St. Otto's mission. It filled the hunger I was hoping to sate with wine, women, anything and everything. The mission gives my life meaning. What does the Red Legion want? I was not always the pious man you see before you. No, I was a scoundrel. A raider in the dreaded Red Legion. A gang of the notorious bandit Red the Dead Idward. But plunder could not sustain me. I wanted something more. Several of us faked our deaths and deserted, always knowing that Red might track us down. And now, he has. It's all here in Red's letter. He demands we satisfy the blood right. Two lives for one. He'll let me go, but only if I kill the men who deserted with me but i cannot isn't there another way i could hand myself over to red but he'd have me killed the only other choice is to kill the men who left with me i can't do that i'm not the man i used to be i will take care of it i do what i must i only hope ugnar and itrin will forgive me ugnar works in gorhart village Itrin haunts the ruins near Haxi, still struggling with his demons. Be on your guard. I fear they will likely come for me as well. When it's finished, take their daggers and bring them to Red Edward. He will demand proof. Take mine to start. Good luck, my friend. May Mitharu bless you. Uh, blood rate. It is a sacrament of the Red Legion. When you commit a crime, you must pay a penance. Surrender your life, or the lives of two others. That's a neat detail. Uh, other deserters. Ugnar could always be found by Red's side, Red's right hand. But beneath his brutal exterior, Ugnar was a good man, tortured by the ghosts of his dead wife and children. Itrin, however, rivals only Red Edward in his bloodlust. They say he was once a Justicar, but was expelled for brutality. His devotion to his god Enadon is fanatical. Enadon, you say? Uh, Red Edward. I fought under Red for years, yet I know nothing of him. I do know this. He will do anything to get what he wants. The most dangerous kind of man is one without limits. And where are the others? Ugnar works for the inn at Gorhart. Etrin has taken to calling himself the Shade and robs travelers in Haxi. 
Farewell, my friend. See, Ugnar is mentioned by the barkeep at the inn, but I couldn't find him. Also, if he leaves from down there, I can steal from that chest. his key yet explore the mission and introduce yourself to the brothers they will be very pleased to meet the hero who brought back our beloved Egan uh, browse brother Till's collection this locked bookshelf houses the collection of brother Till the late scripture master of St. Odwick's perpetual mission the looks of the titles on the remaining books, Till's literary interest tended toward the lewd and lascivious? Lascivious? Lascivious. We retrieve all of the missing volumes and return them to Till's collection for reward. Accept. Don't know where those books are at. We'll figure it out. I think that's a quest that I started, but I never completed. So it might span the entire game. Hello? Are those better than what I have? They are. All right, let's go into the chapel. Just have a little bit more exploring to do. Brother Delph, we've already talked to. Poor box we can't open right now. Doubt he has anything new to say either. Aside from my near death, it's been quite peaceful. Oh, okay. Uh, Casimir the Eternal. I don't know what came over me. The twins poisoned my thoughts and made me think that magic belonged in mortal hands. Only Matharu wields the power to change who I am. I am clay in his hands. Of course, I did like the name Casmaran. It had music. Can you say See so, you later. buddy? You should join me here at the mission. You're like me, curious about the mysteries of the outside world. We must purge you of those impulses as soon as possible. <laughs> uh, Father Dinwell. He's a kind man for taking me back among the brothers. It will take time, but I will work my way into his heart again. I have faith. Uh, Finna and Arbos. I'm ashamed at how they used me. I was so ignorant, so greedy. I only wanted to feel like I understood the world. They took advantage of that. And then St. Odwick's mission. This is where I belong. I knew nothing of the greater world when I arrived, but now I have tasted the fruit of temptation. I have rededicated myself to prayer and scripture. I have stumbled, but Mitharu has granted me mercy. Now, I won't disappoint him again. Bye then. All right, uh, let's see. You think anything new, new to say? Forgive me if I seem a little on edge. I keep expecting to see them. Farewell, my friend. All right, I would like them to leave so I could steal from the poor box, but oh well. All right, let's go see. There's a quest down here. Let's go talk real fast. Sister Zelda. Have you come to protest the mission as well? The news has spread to every village. It's on every tongue. We are so close. St. Odwigs cannot resist much longer. And once it relents, all others will follow in its wake. The tome will be ours. Do you mean this tome? You've acquired the ordination tome? But how? The monks of St. Odwigs keep it in their reliquary under lock and key. 
Father Dinwell is denying that women can be ordained as members of the Order of Metharu, despite scripture in this book to the contrary. You have done a good thing today, my friend. You have given hope to many. Please take this gold. It is all I have, but I won't need it once I take my vow of poverty. All right, made some money. Live in large and in charge. Need 10,000 more gold to get another level of... Detect hidden from the trainer here. We'll go talk to Ugnar if I can find him, or Ugnar. Oh, it's this guy. We've talked to this guy already. Stand back up, buddy. Make it quick. I've got work to do. Can't pay my debts with firewood, not in Gorehart. Uh, Ugnar Odgray. Did I not talk to him earlier? I'd rather not talk about it. My past is a murky place. It's better not to enter lest you wish to get lost there. Okay, uh, Red Legion. What do you know of the Red Legion? Whatever it is, forget it. You'll be safer, wiser, and better off in the end. Ignorance is bliss, my friend. All right, and Gorhart Village. Suits my needs just fine. It's remote, away from the shadows of the Crystal Wall. It's also quiet. Well, most of the time. Uh, the Fae. The peace between mortals and the Fae is a passing one. They will always see us as occupiers of this land. We borrow what can never be given. Those fools in that mission on the hill are wasting their days. Creatures of such power do not worship gods. They are gods. Uh, St. Ardwick's mission. Their goal is to convince the Fae of their folly. But one cannot reason with the sunrise, ask the wind to cease its chill. You should speak with them if you haven't already. They are a sorry lot, and their numbers dwindle. Men forsake their faith and disappear into the woods, or worse. My brother Egan. Uh, Crystal War. If there was ever a reason to believe that Fae and mortals cannot live together, it is this strange and brutal war. The Alpha fight without any true knowledge of the enemy they face. I've seen this kind of conflict before, and it never ends well. Alfar. Gulhart is an Almain settlement, so you won't find too many Alfar here. They tend to stay close to Rathia, their city on the coast. I don't mind them. All right, and Delf sent me. I knew it was only a matter of time, and I'm not surprised. Delf will do anything to save his own hide, but hiring a sword to do his bloody work is disgraceful. If you want to collect my dagger, you'll have to fight me for it. Steel for steel. I used to be quite the scrapper. Didn't Delf tell you that? Uh, why won't you give it to me? Edward knows where I am. When he shows up, the only thing to keep me from death is still having this knife. Uh, don't play Red's game. You're right. I've spent years trying to bury my past, hoping to wash away my sins with an honest day's work. If I took the blood right, Red would owe me once more. Take my dagger. Tell him I'm dead. For the Agnar Odgray you once knew is truly gone. All right. This is funny. You know that. Persuasion is coming in handy. You don't have to kill people for the sake of killing them. Uh, the other part of the quest is a good ways off, isn't it? So this is the other Crast brother. The other quest marker is gone too. Huh. Let's swing by the store one more time, sell some of the stuff that I picked up, as well as uh, break down the. I think I stole one weapon. Welcome. Yes. What do you need? Need to sell. That's what I need. The Alpha and the two author have Whoops. been at each other's. Come see me again. Death. Huh. Do I not have set? Now Red Legion. Are these not salvageable?
Hmm, interesting. Okay. Well, then we will sell. Get pot with some gold. We can at least sell that. Get some decent money off of it. Goodbye. Right, let me look at my quest real fast. Where did I say this other guy was at? We're not going to probably do it this episode, but if I can find him, I can always go after him next episode. Itrin's dagger. And Haxi. Ten books. Yeah, I think this takes a while to do, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so we... I guess the next quest we're going to do is go after the Crast Brother, because I don't know where Haxi is at. It doesn't tell me here. But yeah, the Crass Brothers over here, so we can do that on the way to the House of Balance to knock out that quest. And that'll be that, I guess. Um, I thought there's something up here. Oh, I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, next episode, that's what we'll do. We'll head towards uh, the Crass Brother. Uh, what we'll do is I'll probably meet you guys over here on the road at the beginning of the next episode so I can showcase the new area as we proceed towards him. And then we'll go to the House of Ballads, I think, after that. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next episode.